what's going on YouTube? Uh shouts out to Mr. Box in the Day and Deal Town. Um they were saying like some guys in the YTBC were saying that um certain um I guess fanboys or fans of Deontay Wilder were saying some outrageous stuff. I didn't I don't think they left any links to any videos, particular videos. You know, where they were saying like Anthony Joshua would be a cherry pick for Deontay Wilder. Now, in my opinion, um, that's that's a little bit of a stretch. You know what I'm saying? That uh, Anthony Joshua would be a cherry pick for Deontay Wilder. I don't think that because, you know, all due respect, Deon, uh, Anthony Joshua has a belt. He is a current IBF champion. He is a champion. He's not the champion, but he's a champion. Nonetheless, a gold medal Olympic uh, you know, medalist. He's an Olympic medalist, and I'm not married. Uh, you know, I'm not a big fan of his uh, demeanor or anything like that, or how he comes across and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, he is a dangerous opponent. You know, I'm giving him credit, man. Anthony Joshua, if he if he's boxing, you know, I'm watching it. You know what I'm saying? You know, love him or hate him, I'm watching him box. You know what I'm saying? I, w- I want to see what he does. Um, does he have some things to learn? Does he have a way to go? Yeah, he's a young heavyweight champion, and but he's doing his thing. He's fast. He's knocking out guys. Got a 100% knockout ratio. So I'm not discrediting him in no kind of way. And I am a fan of Deontay Wilder. But with that being said, with me and my opinion, thinking it's probably a 50-50 fight, Anthony Joshua, uh... Luis Ortiz, um, no David Hay, who else? Who else? Um, Tyson Fury, and there's another guy. So there's another guy, man. Who got Tyson Fury, David Hay, Anthony Joshua, Luis Ortiz. Um, we can add in Povetkin. We can add in Povetkin. You know, what was that? Five guys right there. I think it's all 50-50, man, going against Deontay Wilder. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to say as a fan of Deontay that I don't have uh, some doubts and stuff like that. You know, he's knocking people out. But um, do I want to see him going against some other opponents like those five guys? Hell yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because I want him to re- erase those doubts in my mind. Do I have some concerns of whether he'll lose or not? Yeah, do I want him to lose? Hell no. You know what I'm saying? I'm a fan of Deontay. He's the only American heavyweight champion that we got. You know what I'm saying? We had two. But Charles Martin, he decided to go ahead for that payday. And, you know, uh, he, he 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 conned me. You know what I'm saying? He, with his confidence. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And key word being con, confidence. Put put the uh, two, word, uh, two words together. You got con. You know, meaning to dupe somebody, pretty much. And Fidence is is, is is confidence in himself. You know what I'm saying? He's doing his damn thing, you know? But um, as far as me having confidence in Deontay Wilder, man, I'm thinking it's like it's a 50-50 fight for him and uh, Anthony Joshua. Now, on the plus side, to spin on it on the plus side, I'm going to have to say that if you have fans out there of Deontay Wilder saying that Anthony Joshua would be like a cherry pick fight. Wow. That's a plus for Deontay Wilder. Cause you have some you have some guys in the YTBC saying that Deontay Wilder doesn't have support. You know what I'm saying? That he doesn't have support in the United States that he should have and whatnot. But if you have people out there saying that, that's a positive spin. Saying like, hey, man, he does have some uh, some, some fans out there, some true believers in what he's doing. And that to me, that's a plus because it's the fans, the guys who are fans of the sport or fanboys uh, boxing the, or uh, – you know, especially people that come out or whatever like that, especially the people who spend their hard money coming out to the uh, these fights and stuff like that. They they the one uh, and watching these fights. They're the ones that are or uh, really uh, fueling the sport. You know, because it's all economics, supply and demand. So us fans or uh, or uh, you know pushing the sports to 
the sport itself, boxing, keeping it. We, we're the ones keeping it alive. You know what I'm saying? We're the ones keeping it alive or whatnot. Whether the statement is ridiculous or not, we're the ones um, that are uh, passionate about it. Because I don't think, because think about it, if it was a casual fan or anybody that didn't know anything about Deontay Wilder, they wouldn't get upset about it. You get what I'm saying about that statement? Because they would be like, who the hell is Anthony Joshua? Any casual, casual fan. Or, yeah, you know, uh, they wouldn't uh, have an opinion about it. You know what I'm saying? Such a strong opinion about it. So, um, with that being said, maybe, I was thinking like, well, you know what, uh, maybe Anthony Joshua would be a cherry pick, you know, for uh, Deontay Wilder. Because, you know, Deontay Wilder does have the WBC belt. I, I will uh, think that most people would rank the WBC higher than the IBF as far as, uh, you know, uh, prestige and whatnot, or, or who has held the belt and whatnot. And that uh, Deontay Wilder is uh, more experienced than Anthony Joshua. Deontay Wilder, he he too himself is an Olympic medalist, not a gold medalist. But at the same time, I think they both got into sport around about this, the same age or something like that. I, I want to believe that uh, maybe Anthony Joshua a little bit earlier than... Uh, no, Deontay Wilder about maybe like two, three years, maybe. But um, you can make an argument for that because David Hay sparred Deontay Wilder, okay? Uh, to this day, if you guys know, I don't know who calls David Hayes uh, to get a, 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 a cut during sparring, okay? I don't know who did that. Um, there wasn't any clarification on that. They had a few guys in the camp. The, I think Wilder was one of them, and he suffered a cut. I think it's, this dude was during the time he was supposed to be fighting Tyson Fury, right? Uh, as of now, David Hay has made his comeback, and David Hay has called out Anthony Joshua. He wants Anthony Joshua. He specifically said, I, I want Anthony Joshua. I can beat Anthony Joshua. So as far as Anthony Joshua being a cherry pick and David Hay um, really trying to position himself, I think he's almost close to being ranked number one in the IBF. Um, um, I'm going to try to look this up real quick. IBF rankings. Let's see if I can get this up. Okay, I got the. I'm looking up the IBF rankings. Uh, I think David Hay is ranked number three in the IBF rankings. So you know he's coming at the Anthony Joshua, and in the WBC, hell, um, David Hay is ranked number six. Okay, but yeah, he's he is, he is targeting Anthony Joshua. I was just wondering why, in my opinion, that he's not targeting. Uh, Deontay Wilder, you know what I'm saying? He's not calling out Deontay Wilder. Um, I haven't heard him say anything about Tyson Fury. I'm sure he wants to fight with Tyson Fury. But and, but then again, at the end of the day, financially, uh, Anthony Joshua, David Hay would be a big money fight. You know what I'm saying? Um, I think it was rumored that David Hay has some financial issues. That's why he's making a comeback and stuff like that. Cause I think at the age of thirty, he 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 claimed to be retired and all this other stuff. Then he had a shoulder injury and stuff like that. But anyway, um, that's the only reason I can think that uh, Anthony Joshua w- w- might be considered. That you can make an argument that Anthony Joshua will be a cherry pick is because he's young. I guess supposedly inexperienced, and based on his last fight with well, Dominic Brazil, um, he um. Even though he got the stoppage, he was pretty much uh, basic. And I think David Hay said, you know, hey, I can beat this guy. But you guys let me know what you guys, you know, think, man. You think uh, Anthony Joshua is a cherry pick for Deontay Wilder? Me, myself, I don't think so, man. I don't think so. Uh, Fanboy or not, you know what I'm saying? I, I really don't think so myself. I think that's pretty much a 50-50 fight. I mean, he has a belt, you know, respect out to Anthony Joshua. Like I said, you know, I'm not a big fan of Anthony Joshua. 
But, um, you know, I'm giving credit where credit is due. Dude, dude has a 100% knockout ratio. You know, he, he, has the, he has the look. He has the attitude and the poise of uh, a, ch- a champion, a young champion and stuff like that. Um, he let, he's letting his hands go, throwing power punches and stuff like that. So I'm not going to discredit him. You know what I'm saying, Anthony Joshua, at all. So, all right, man, with that being said, y'all let me know what y'all think. I'll catch y'all later. Bye.